Hey guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today I wanted to tackle a subject that I totally stumbled upon by accident, but once I saw it, I knew I had to cover it. This subject is, can tarantulas swim? And I've had tarantulas for a few years now and I didn't even know this, so maybe you don't either. Um, I was very, very excited about this. I think it's so cool that there are so many things that we still don't know about tarantulas um, and so many things that like are just not as represented in the hobby so I really enjoy delving into those topics and bringing those to you. Um, so anyway if you're new to this channel I put out videos every single week and I also put out a Tarantula Tuesday newsletter which you can um, either subscribe to my channel or um, check that newsletter sign up in the link below um, in the description and I also run the Tarantula Heaven Facebook group and the Facebook page so if you want to talk to me about spiders more in a Facebook group you are welcome to join there um, and I also put out a Tarantula magazine every two months um, as well as a bunch of other <laughs> spider stuff so if any of that interests you, you can find all the links to that stuff in the description. But anyway, moving on to, uh, to tarantula swimming. So the whole reason that I got onto this topic was because I was like going down the deep rabbit hole of YouTube videos um, when I was like looking up something about tarantulas. And you know how that goes, like one video just leads to the next. And I stumbled across this crazy video um, by Tarantula Guy 1976, Rob Carman. And it was about his tarantula being completely submerged underwater. I had no idea there was a tarantula who could do this. Um, I was like freaking out. I was very curious. So I had to do some research. And I think this is a really, really important topic because um, a lot of newer tarantula owners, they are terrified to give their tarantulas water dishes without like things like harmful sponges. Don't do that. Um, or like pebbles or rocks in there because they think that their tarantula is going to drown. Um, and there's a very low risk of that happening. You know, most tarantulas are intelligent enough to know that they shouldn't totally submerge their bodies in water if they're not that kind of tarantula but there are actually tarantulas who can do this and that's what um, Rob's video showed me and anyway the tarantula in this particular video from tarantula guy 1976 was an H gigas and I was like I mean, I don't know too much about that spider anyway, but I, I was like absolutely amazed that this tarantula, in doing my research, it can actually stay completely submerged underwater like it was in that video for over two hours. And that's just what it does. It's a tarantula that can swim. How crazy is that? This spider is one of the only spiders that can swim, and it's the only documented tarantula that can actually swim. So it's very, very unique. Um, and I would say, swim underwater because I'm gonna get to that other tarantulas have actually been documented kind of scuttling across the water. So there's just way too much that we don't know about these creatures. Anyway, so um, I actually do a video. I have videos in the blog post accompanying this video. So definitely check that link in my description because I have all the videos of tarantula swimming and it's gonna like change your life a little bit because <laughs> I feel like it changed mine. Um, anyway, so um, these tarantulas have even, because they swim, they've even been documented like catching and eating fish, which is also like just crazy to me because I didn't know that this could happen. And there's videos to prove it in the description, so you gotta check it out. So I did mention that other tarantulas may also be able to swim. Now the H. gigas has been the only known tarantula to actually be able to stay submerged underwater and swim underwater. But there have been other videos where a tarantula has been caught kind of doing the spider paddle across the, <laughs> across a large body of water, and it's really, really impressive. And not too long ago in Texas, a tarantula went viral for a uh, film footage captured of it swimming across a small body of water, kind of doing like a spider paddle type thing. And uh, so I guess tarantulas can swim in, you know, not just the H. gigas. So I had to kind of do like the research part of this because I don't want to start claiming that tarantulas can swim when you know maybe they're actually doing like some form of graceful sinking instead or I don't know slowly dying I don't know but uh, anyway so a researcher with the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom actually said that tarantulas kind of can do this kind of like paddling thing across water but they don't really take to water voluntarily it's usually because they're either being chased um, or fell in or because they're being forced to um, so don't put your spiders in the bathtub or anything that's like extremely cruel. Um, I will hope that you definitely don't take any encouragement from this research that I'm providing to be cruel to your tarantula. Um, you know, just because they can doesn't mean that you should do that. Um, so anyway, 
Um, so the researcher said that in studying the way that tarantulas react when they're put in water, most tarantulas float on the surface film of water, noting a layer of air trapped by the dense coat of hairs on the legs and body, which really helps. It's like a critical factor in how they can actually um, move their bodies across the water. Um, and he also said that um, he believes that tarantulas can detect uh, that they are in water through these things called hygroreceptors on their legs which can also be used to detect humidity. So the hairs, I mean, they use their hairs for so many different things, like, you know, um, picking up scents and sounds and, and vibrations and stuff like that. They can also very much sense water. And I think you might, if you're a tarantula owner, you may have even seen the way that if your tarantula puts its feet or legs in its water dish to kind of brace itself while it's drinking water, how the water will kind of fit around their body or their legs. It, do, it doesn't look like it's actually like kind of, it doesn't look like it's really touching it. So it seems like these hairs definitely do provide some sort of like, have some sort of coating or I guess air around it so that um, it doesn't really look like it's really touching the water. Um, it's very, very interesting. When they were doing this study, the researcher said that the larger and heavier the spider, the more likely it was to sink. Um, in which case it tended to curl in its legs and not move and needed to be rescued. However, most of the time the tarantulas floated on the surface film of the water. A layer of air trapped by the dense coat of hairs on the legs and body is probably uh, the most important factor here. The waterproofing ability of the spider cuticle and its waxy outermost layer was impressively demonstrated and the tarantulas emerged completely dry from the water, none the worse for their ordeal. So there's got to be some sort of coating going on or something. And now as far as how their body moves across the water or how they do like their little spider paddle, um, the researcher um, said that it's very different from walking and he described how it, it mechanically works. Um, and I'll share that with you. Careful observations were made of the way in which tarantulas swam. The tarantulas primarily used its first three pairs of legs to swim, while the last pair of legs tended to be dragged behind it. The three legs simultaneously moved to propel the spider forward. Also, the legs were angled sideways slightly so that more surface area of the legs were being used to push through the water. The pedipalps were held out in front of the tarantula and generally did not contribute to the swimming process. So it's really interesting that a tarantula would figure out how to move differently in the water to better propel it forward. Um, I think that's just so cool. And I also, um, I have a few other videos in the blog post um, that um, show like a, an avicularia swimming as well as that Texas tarantula and as a few videos that that HG guys, which is just so cool. Um, and I also have um, videos of that um, that spider um, hunting fish. It's just so impressive. I think like when you see videos like this that you don't expect to see from tarantulas or like you find out a new cool superpower that they have, um, it just kind of blows your mind about how much we don't know about them and like why don't people know more about that. So um, it's really cool. You definitely have to check it out. And now I don't actually know if tarantulas are supposed to um, eat fish. I, you know, I haven't done any research on that. This is the first time that I'm even seeing a tarantula hunt fish underwater or eat fish. So, you know, they're opportunistic feeders. So I'm sure that, um, you know, I'm sure that that, that is, could be a part of their diet. I don't see why not. But um, anyway, the, the main point here is that they can swim underwater and that's crazy. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Did you know that spiders could swim on top of water, underwater? What did you think? Um, do you want to learn more about crazy tarantula behavior that isn't too commonly known? Um, because I definitely do. So if there is something that you know about tarantulas that others may not know and you think I should cover in another video, please let me know in the comments. Um, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I want to do more videos about tarantula behavior in the future because that really fascinates me a lot. Um, and if you um, are new here, please do subscribe. I put videos out every single week. And if you want to learn more about tarantulas, I do have a tarantula guide out, and, which you can find the links to in the description, as well as to my tarantula magazine called The Spinneret. And I also have a Patreon page where you can get more behind the scenes info and access, and you can also get a subscription to the magazine. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And once again, if you want to see all those videos of the tarantula swimming, the blog post is... Uh, the top link in the description. So definitely check it out. I highly suggest it. Um, those are some really, really cool videos and I think it's gonna change your mind about what tarantulas are actually capable of. So anyway, have a great week. 